All right, Friday morning and it's uh, the kids' last day of school and we are jogging to school. I better hurry up because uh, there goes my family down the street. I was warned too, I'm wearing flip-flops. That, that was a bad idea, but oh well, here we go. Okay, and now there were three. We got two hours yeah. until uh, until the boys are back out of school, and I'm gonna try to mix the song that Cat and I wrote. We got Red in the stroller and the dog walker. Check this out. He rides his bike. Zoom in. Are you focusing on that? All right. He rides his bike and walks all the neighborhood dogs. Pretty sweet. We don't have a dog to walk at this point. We used to have a dog a long time ago. Big, huge, white, great Pyrenees. But dog gone. I'm probably gonna edit that out. Note to self to edit that out. All right, we're back and it's time to hit the studio. See what I can do. <laughs> song out Whew. it's uh, I'm printing it now it's uh, fun to do all this it's like I love the uh, I'm spinning around in my chair I'm probably gonna make someone dizzy I love the uh, the crunch time the kind of like see what you can get done in a short amount of time so this is kind of a fun silly song and uh, my daughter was just in here a minute ago singing along so that's kind of it's fun to work on stuff like this so Whew, I got a lot to do today, mixing hip hop, um, finishing up this song. Um, actually, this song needs to be done by 10. What time is it? 9.48, holy smokes. I was gonna listen to it in my car and then take some notes and remix. We'll see what happens. So, all right, printing this song, gonna try to upload it to my SoundCloud. Ooh, I don't have any artwork for the song. Have to make it quick. And uh, yeah, and all right. Countdown, see how quick I can do this. I gotta go get a flash drive from inside the house. Okay, Pro Tools is being a little a little uh, pill today, which it can be. Actually, I've been on the same Pro Tools rig for a long time. I'm so ready to switch over, but uh, oh, I'm looking over there and I see that it's, uh, I think I got it, it's doing its thing. It's like trying to link up to audio, I don't know. So, but uh, getting a lot of stuff done. It seems like the summer hits and all of a sudden the list of things to do grows, but uh, that's what's um, fun and exciting. I'm lining up some stuff for a hip hop group called Root Beer. Root Beer. Root Beer is uh, Pigeon John and Flynn, and they make some uh, pretty cool, fun, funky hip hop. So. Um, I've already mixed it, so this part isn't too hard. It's just kind of re-lining everything up. So, whew. All right, here we go. Back to work. What's going on? What's up? What's up? Sam in the studio, Friday edition. 
This one's gonna go until one of my munchkins runs in here and says, Dad, it's time for dinner. So, um, what's the topic of the day? I have been vlogging, so if you haven't seen any of my vlogs yet, actually I got two cameras up right now. I got my vlog camera going and I got uh, my phone doing Facebook Live. So, let me know that you're there. What's the scoop? What's the Friday scoop? What are you working on? Matt, Matt, I know you uh, commented on one of my vlogs. Thank you uh, very much. Encouraging to know that all 27 people out there are interested in my, in my, uh, in my boring life. Um, yeah, what's up? So I'm printing mixes right now. Master, sorry, I'm printing a master for uh, a couple guys um, together. They are called Root Beer. Root Beer, great name, huh? Root Beer has been around, gosh, I think for a while. Basically, listen to my ending here. It's kind of an interesting spacey song that's kind of in the middle of a couple other tunes. So, um, I know I should be paying attention and concentrating on what I'm doing, huh? Um, well, I, I set up the whole, I set up the whole thing and it's just kind of printing now. Um, I use analog stuff, so I, uh, I have to print all my mixes. I can't bounce them in, um, the Morgan sounded cool in the U2 teacher jam. Yeah, yeah, I just wish that I could sing better. I don't know, maybe I should get some voice lessons or something. I have like a very nasally voice no matter what I do. I don't know if you, voice lessons, you can, um, train yourself or take that out. I don't know. I should ask James, uh, Lugo's a vocal coach, um, because I, I know I have an ear for music and I know I have relative pitch. I mean, when I'm mixing and I hear, or if I'm cutting vocals, I can hear when someone's off. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wish I sang better, but it was fun. It's fun to just uh, jam with uh, some other fellow teachers and play in front of the staff. And I got a bunch of, you know, other teachers like, oh, that was great, good job, <laughs> humoring me, my, uh, my my singing so yeah what was i saying printing mixes just i can't do a real-time bounce because it's actually going through analog stuff so i actually got to play through um the whole thing but it comes out better i think that way root beer is uh pigeon john and flynn oh yeah that's what i was saying so la symphony was a group that i listened to when i was in college and uh kind of made friends with those guys when I was playing out and touring with a, a hip-hop band called Glory. So I made friends with those buddies and was doing mixing, recording, a bunch of different stuff for a couple of the local groups. Um, I gotta figure out what to do with my hair on this vlog and in these live things. I just got a cut and it, uh, I don't know, I tried putting some gel in it this morning, but uh, blah. So, um, no, I'm not. That's a great question, Justin. I don't think that I will. So I did a little shootout. I'll send you the tracks, Justin. Whoever wants them, um, I just put them in a Dropbox and you can download them. What we did in here was how to drummer play. And if you want to see kind of the details of it, it's on my YouTube channel. Ah, plug, plug in everything. Um, and we did eight bar loop of him playing drums. Uh, my buddy Josh and... Um, I basically went into the same preamp, which is the True Personas 8, and I just took the DB25 cable out of the Personas 8, and I just went um, first into the Avid, then into the Lynx um, Aurora, and then into the Orion. So, and it's been interesting. I've had a bunch of guys listen to it, because you can sit there and listen to the kick, the snare, the differences, or put them all together. It's kind of just raw audio. It's three, it's a folder with eight tracks, of raw audio. So yeah, I love the True too. I think it's uh, very clean. I'd say it has a little bit of warmth to it. That's a good piece, definitely a good piece. And I think that was a easy, like the mics we use were, you know, your your normal 57 on top and, a, and inside the kick was a, a D 
six or the D7, an Audix mic. And it was just typical stuff into that straight pre, so not a lot of coloring. And then I just took the DB25 cable and went through three different converters. Uh, it's an interesting um, thing. Most of the feedback from guys that downloaded it and put it into their rigs and kind of listened to it, most of the feedback I've gotten so far was like some of them couldn't even quite tell that there was, it, it's, it comes down to just uh, a hair of a distance. I don't, uh, I don't know how to even describe it. It's this almost inaudible differences, which is kind of interesting, which is kind of cool. Um, so that if you purchase certain converters, um, maybe they're not all that far off from each other. Um, ever try a reflection filter when recording lead vocals? Um, I do have something. I have the Vox Guard by Prime Acoustics. It's like standing right here. It's it's kind of the one that's about this tall and it goes across and it kind of cuts a little bit. Um, I don't box people in in here. I just cut vocals yesterday and the day before two different singers and I sometimes I'm not even using the Vox guard Vox guard thing um, sometimes I just give them a mic straight here in the room it, you get a little bit of um, you know natural reverb going on I think I'm gonna get the call any minute here dad it's dinner time so I said at the beginning of the uh, live I go until I, I get the word when when uh, mama says it's dinner time right gotta go get you some dinner um, yeah, I, I do use it sometimes. I think if you have a singer that belts, that's probably the biggest thing is those uh, reflections um, that you know do this and come right back at your mic. You do have to definitely be careful of those. Um, so yeah, yeah, you too, Justin. Um, I thought I saw. I thought I saw the uh, the. Uh, the troops coming in to get me, but I guess I got another minute with all three people live. But uh, plug in again. I know Matt, you're watching it already, but I'm vlogging my way through the day. It's interesting. Um, it's fun. Um, the vlog today, um, again, I'm just kind of, uh, what did I do today? I'm trying to think of what the interesting things were on the vlog. It was like my kid's uh, last day of school, which gets crazy because my wife and I then are kind of uh, juggling all our different things that uh, we're trying to do. Uh, something I don't think I've mentioned yet is it looks like my wife will be um, maybe on a, a show, a YouTube show that's Ryan Seacrest. It's kind of an American Idol reboot that Ryan Seacrest is doing. Whoa! I always do that. Itch my foot and then my my other foot hit the, hit the chair thing. Um, Favorite clip on Guitar Tuner? Oh, um, I'm getting questions here. And I'm, uh, let me go back. Matt's, what's on the next gear purchase? Gosh, I don't know. What have I been looking at? Um, I just got Omnisphere 2. That's a, that's a new um, piece in here. Um, I thought about selling my Dave Smith uh, uh, analog keyboard to pick up the next kind of level of Dave Smith. Um, I have a Mofo X4, which is a, a polyphonic synth, synth, and it's analog, all analog, really cool. But I might get the Rev 2, which is um, basically his reboot of, oh, what's the famous Dave Smith keyboard? Um, oh, I'm blanking. Uh, the monitors are Dyn Audio Air 15s. I've had them for 13, 14 years. Um, they're digital reference monitors. I've had the room tuned with them. So I had a guy come in that knows it worked for Dyn Audio. He knows tuning rooms really well and he tuned this room. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll try to be saying like, hey, we're looking for a song. We want it to be in this uh, range, in this ballpark. So, so that was that and we took off writing. We did it all in like 48 hours, really quick. It was, uh, you know, I jumped on the drum set and kind of played it at first. Greg came in and saved everyone from my uh, amateur drums. And uh, what else? And then I just put a bunch of guitar. Um, I played this all over it. It was a perfect guitar. Just um, 
came out. Uh, this is my um, TMG. Uh, it can't. It was a perfect guitar. It just sat. It was like not totally surf rock, um, but yeah. And you know what? I might be able to put a snippet of the song on my blog on YouTube uh, tonight. Maybe the outro music will be this uh, big pink wave um, song. So we don't have a band name yet. Help us out. It's a uh, cat and I, and it's kind of like a side project of licensing type music, fun upbeat we got kind of three songs going so what do we call ourselves i i said sam or cat and sam and um didn't uh didn't stick but we need uh something fun I, oh i said maybe the sinkables too oh here's some of the troops what's up is dinner time pizza for dinner pizza for dinner off of that yes. red Oh, that bread that, can you see me in there? How do I look? Is my hair all right? Oh, don't yeah. shake the camera, don't shake the camera. That's the vlog camera. So, all right, one of my munchkins. <gasps> You're on live. You're gonna go back now. Oh, we're knocking oh, things they... over. So, sweet. So yeah, now I got my kids, my kids live too. See, he's, Keller's got cool hair. I wish Ooh, I had something yeah. cool. Uh, I wish what I had the? something cool going on. So, all right. No. So much for Sam in the studio. I think I answered a couple of people's questions. Most people <laughs> like want to talk gear, talk shop, <laughs> talk uh, what's the latest and the greatest. But ooh, this make a good it? drum sound. Put a mic on here. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> clowns, munchkins. Okay. All right. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, done because it's pizza time, getting pizza. So, all right, thanks for hanging out with me a minute. Sam in the studio and Keller in the studio. And we're signing off. Ready? <laughs> all right, you are so silly.